The girls' FCA team camp began today in the city of Spartanburg. I'm with camp director K.O. Sullivan, who's also director of women's ministries in Spartanburg County. Well, you've been working on this for a long time. I guess you're glad to finally get things going today. Uh, we are. I really work on this year-round, um, planning for all the teams that come in, and this is our sixth year holding the um, FCA basketball camp here at Upstate. A lot of people don't realize, I mean, this is a very popular event. You've got teams from all over the southeast that have come as far as Alabama. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the teams who participate? Well, we've got 44 teams here this year. We've got some middle school teams, varsity teams, and JV teams. We have them from five states. We have them from Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. We keep growing every year, and I think when word gets back, we, we pack it out every year. We're full. Again, we're at capacity this year, and I think um, I think that says a lot about our teams, our coaches, and our, and our program here. It's kind of interesting that your high school teams get the opportunity of playing eight games over basically a two-and-a-half, three-day period. Your middle school teams come in, they get six games, but they get two instructional periods. And, I mean, I'm behind us right now. You've got two of the top women's players ever in the state of South Carolina. Janet Linder, who was in the Hall of Fame in the record books at Clemson. Sheila Foster, first woman to ever have her, have her jersey, retired University of South Carolina. You won't find better instructions than that. No, um, we don't think you could go anywhere in the country and get better ladies to come do that than, than we've got here. Janet is on our FCA board here and works with us a lot. And like you said, she's in the Hall of Fame. She was an All-American at Clemson. Sheila, who coaches at Boyne Springs High School, is always supportive of what we do at FCA, too, with also in the South Carolina Hall of Fame. So um, we like for our uh, middle school girls maybe to get a little instruction in fundamentals and, and um, work on some fundamental things and we don't think they could get any better than these two ladies are to work with them. This camp is not your typical camp. Being a Fellowship of Christian Athletes camp offers a lot more than basketball. I had a video a few minutes ago and showed how every game begins with both teams circling up with prayer before the game. Your nighttime activities concentrate on how to be better players in the game of life. Talk a little bit about some of the special things that FCA camp offers that your typical other basketball camps don't. Well, we think we offer the best of two camps. You're really getting two camps in one because we don't feel like we take a back seat to anybody as far as the competition goes. We have teams here that have won state championships. We have teams from all over, really quality teams, so we think that you're going to get great competition when you come to FCA camp. You're, um, you're going to get a chance to become a better player, but we're also very interested in them becoming better people. And um, so at night, we, um, we go to the hangar in Spartanburg downtown. We have a live band. We have a speaker we have a chance to um to just share with them what we think can can make them better people in in life and um be successful on the court and in life we're interested in the big picture of things this is i know it's stressful with everything that goes on to it but i know this has got to be special in your heart number one being an outstanding basketball player when you were younger having played at usc upstate and again get to come back here and host a great camp like this well it is fun and it certainly has grown since i was here um and i've stayed in the dorms more being a camp director than I ever did or did in college because there were no dorms here then but it's fun to come back to my school right here in my hometown and bring those here to Spartanburg to do it here. Any chance that we might be able to add this as a feature and, and schedule this in for next year a one-on-one -on -one game between South Carolina and Clemson between Sheila and Janet that would probably be one that the crowd would go wild on. That that would be fun. That that would be. Um, it, it's good. You know, they have their own skills, their own type player, and that's why we've got we got Sheila working with all our post players in there, and Janet working on some some shooting and skill things. But they um, they are just top notch ladies. So fundamentally sound in basketball, but they have a real love for it, and that they would take their time to come out and share it with these girls um, says a lot about them. And we appreciate them very much. Well, we appreciate Ko Sullivan, who is the camp director and again director of women's ministries does a great job in Spartanburg County and again I know that this will be a successful week and and I know that these girls will be blessed by all your efforts this week thanks Dick